Thompson. Sherry is off tonight. Holt Public Schools welcomes students back to most of its buildings today. It's among the first local districts to head back to class for this new school year. And today, 6 News asked school officials what COVID protocols are still in place. 6 News reporter McCoy Scribner also spoke with local health officials. McCoy, what are you hearing tonight? Lauren Ingham County Health Officer Linda Vale tells me COVID-19 infections are still a possibility in our community. And one parent I spoke with today tells me she's excited for his son to return back to in person. But despite the CDC relaxing social distancing and exposure guidelines, she hopes everyone does their part so they don't move backwards. I prefer him to be in school. I don't want him to do uh, online anymore because it was, you know, anti-social. He didn't have anybody to talk to other than his family, so. Tina Fox has a ninth grader at Holt High School. When it comes to COVID-19, she says her family is taking all the proper steps. Well, my son's been vaccinated, so he knows to wash his hands and try to stay his distance. I know that's going to be hard. And now that kids are headed back to class with fewer COVID protocols in place, she hopes that others will too. I think people should get vaccinated. That's something Ingham County Health Officer Linda Vale says is crucial in preventing the spread. The most important thing that anybody can do is to be up to date with your COVID vaccinations. When it comes to how schools handled the threat of COVID this fall, Vail says safety precautions like wearing masks or social distancing are out of her hands. That at this point is going to be up to schools. And according to Vail, there's a way to help slow the spread without changing the behavior of the individual students. Ventilation is going to be really critical. So schools, you know, got some funding, did some work on ventilation, and ventilation is very, very critical. As for the way schools will look this upcoming year, Will it be completely normal? It really is going to depend on the school. I think there are going to be some schools that are going to still take some precautions. But she's reminding everyone that cases could rise at any time. But sometime this fall winter, we should expect another um, surge. She's also encouraging every parent to monitor your child when they attend school. This goes for COVID testing, making sure they're washing their hands and keeping them home when they're sick. Lauren, back to you. Thank you for that.